Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UK V, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is remaining fairly unsettled throughout the rest of the working week but as we head into the weekend and next week things could be on the up now it's not going to be any overnight changes we're not going to go suddenly from cool and unsettled to very warm and dry but we could gradually trend towards more summery conditions and as we head into the longer range, as we from the latest GFS, GM, ECMWF and the ensembles, there are definitely some stronger signals of a bit of a change into the second half of the month. Even the GFS today showing signs of something much warmer and much drier with higher pressure sat more over the top of us or two hours south, both encouraging dry conditions, but also the risk of some warm or very warm air mass is something we've seen very little of so far this summer. Uh, we saw glimpses in the second half of spring, but really not too much this year so far, but signs that they could arrive in the second half of June, but we'll have to keep a very close eye on that, um, and we'll look at that in detail in the second half of the video. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see we are shifting now from a northerly wind to a westerly wind, and temporarily it has gone drier. Now, we've seen less showers around today, uh, I'm recording this for you Wednesday evening, so by the time you're watching this, it's probably into Thursday now, and we are seeing that rain from the west spreading in here. It is just off the radar, but it is now starting to impact parts of Northern Ireland and Western Republic of Ireland. Now, if you put on the temperatures this evening, you can see it is chilly, where we kind of are in between the cloud, uh, further eastwards and further westwards, and especially over higher ground. Temperatures are said still um, lower than average. Um, below average for the time of year and will remain like that for the next sort of couple of days but said it should improve into the weekend now if you go over to the latest ukv you can see showers uh were very few and far between today and then we can see that rain heading in through thursday morning making very slow progress and really only reaching the east coast by the mid to late afternoon or even into the evening for east anglia but slowly clearing through and giving quite a wet and cloudy miserable night into friday as we head through friday we are firmly under lower pressure so we are going to see lots of sunshine but also lots of showers as well quite hefty showers in there as we head into saturday more heavy showers spiraling around so it could could see even a few thunderstorms mixing in and again this is all due to the fact that there's slightly milder air and we are under lower pressure and then as we head into sunday a repeat of that with the showers and thunderstorms but less frequent and less lively and then finally into monday again a few showers and storms around but again, not quite as heavy and not quite as widespread. You can see by Monday, we are still under lower pressure, but the pressure is slowly rising. And that's why those showers are starting to reduce in intensity. And you can see by early next week, the upper air temperatures could be back towards average. And that means that those temperatures could be more widely towards 20 degrees once again. You can see earlier today, temperatures were mid to high teens at best. And I mean, high teens is sort of 16, 17 degrees. So pretty much mid teens really for most or low teens in the worst spots. Into tomorrow is a similar story. Could see an 18 or 19 somewhere in the east, but under the rain and cloud further westwards, single digits or low teens at best. As we head into Friday, we will see sunshine and there will be slightly milder air. So we could see 20 or 21 when we avoid the showers, but under the showers still most likely in the teens. As we head into Saturday again, a big mix could see an 18 or 19 in the best spots. Much cooler where we have cloud and rain. And then into Sunday, starting to turn a little bit more widely. Um towards average getting towards 19 to 21 and then by monday look at that more widely 20 to 22 as we see something drier with more average air masses so you can see that slow transition to maybe something a bit more drier early next week and something a little bit warmer as well but that is just the next five days. And if we do extend this out throughout the rest of the month, really, or the next sort of couple of weeks, we can see there is the risk of something much warmer and drier on the horizon. You can see low pressure controlling the conditions over the next couple of days. But as we head into next week, we could see an extension of higher pressure building over top of us, which would turn us drier and inevitably warmer. 
as we progress beyond that, could see more low pressure arriving. But look what happens right in the extended range. High pressure building in over Europe and over the UK, extending over the top of us a big ridge of high pressure. And look at those upper air temperatures. Very warm for the time of year. Hot. And you can see the upper air temperatures are getting towards 10 degrees above average to our south and more towards of eight, uh, six to eight degrees over the top of us. And if we did have a look at those two meter temperatures, you'd be able to see widely into the mid 20s there. And we would likely get towards 30 degrees if we let this build for a couple of days. So signs towards the latter part of June. Yes, it's in the extended range, but signs of something a little bit warmer, maybe even hotter as we progress towards the second half of June. Regardless if we see a very warm air mass, definitely more of a high pressure signal there from that day seven to day 14 period, which is a big positive. Now, if you compare to the GM, uh, again, high pressure trying to hang on at the moment, but low pressure is going to push in off the Atlantic over the next couple of days, and that's why it's going to go so uh, so very unsettled. Low pressure remains into next week. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that high pressure is going to extend in with more of a uh, low pressure system coming in from the north. Quite an unusual pattern there, so a bit sceptical of that coming off. And then as we are towards day 10, again, we do see high pressure building in, but it is further eastwards. So it is squeezing up a pretty warm southerly wind, but low pressure is out to our west, which may keep it a little bit more unsettled and cooler with that westerly flow trying to push in. Now, do you compare to the ECMWF? Again, we do see low pressure pushing north the Atlantic at the moment. High pressure is trying to extend in, and it is having some success at day 10 with high pressure to our south, more of a southwesterly flow. And if we do look at those warm upper air temperatures, look at that 10 degree isotherm moving in for all. So it would be quite a bit warmer with the far fetched southwesterly wind. It wouldn't feel too bad at all. Look at that low 20s, maybe mid 20s at best so definitely some positive signs there from the three runs today not a definitive signal but definitely better than what we're seeing at the moment and what we're going to see over the next few days and if you finish by looking at the latest ensembles you can see a slow trend back towards average over the next five or six days and then we get towards average maybe slightly above as we head into the second half of june we do see a pickup of precipitation for a time over the next sort of week and then it starts to drop off a little bit but look at those more more um more warmer runs we can see in that medium to longer range including the operational run other ensemble members giving signs that there is a opportunity there is a chance there is a scenario where we do start to see those very warm or hot conditions arriving definitely there from the operation run and definitely there for maybe other five or ten ensemble members so we'll have to keep a very close eye on that as that could spice things up into the second half of the month and you can see that from some of these ensemble members here getting into the mid to high 20s or 30 degree range and finally, if we do compare to the ECMWF, again, broadly very similar over the next five or six days. A little bit of a cooler patch there, perhaps around the 20th of June in around a week's time. A dip from some ensemble members there. Does look like that's going uh, that's the period of big uncertainty. And then look at that into the final sort of week or so of June. Precipitation lowers a little bit, not zero, but lowers. And we see those upright temperatures going good three, four, five degrees above average again with significant run number of runs going 15 to the 20 degree isotherm which would be hitting those mid to high 20s or even low 30s so we've got to keep a close eye out for that as well so definitely looking like there is some positive trends in the longer term nothing definitive at this stage but definitely a little bit better than what we got at the moment we'll have to keep a very close eye on it because it is still in the longer range but for the time being it is going to be showery it's going to remain at least a little bit chilly for the next couple of days before it does start to get a little bit better in the next week so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon